Okay. I don't know how well this will show up. Um, because it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm messing around with my iBus interface for my car. Um, I'm just going to show I've got my laptop running a terminal program that's connected to the Arduino that does all the processing of the iBus messages. You can see I'm getting logging back from it. Here, it's telling me whenever it gets a good message or a bad message. And it's filtering out so that it's only showing the stuff that's coming from or going to the uh, radio in the trunk. Uh, I'm sitting in my car right now. I, I actually have an Android program, which you can put in a, a message in a you know, edit box, and then it'll actually send it over using the yo-yo board, spelled L -I, spelled I-O-I-O. -I -O. Um, it'll send it over, uh, you are on the yo-yo uh, to the Arduino, so you can actually run this from a Android tablet too, which is the end goal, is to make a fancy interface, but for now I'm just using this terminal window. I'm sitting in the car, Here's my radio. Well, this is the navigation display. The radio in this car is actually in the trunk. And the, the display, this head unit, just sends messages over the iBus um, to the radio to, t to tell it what to do, which is how I can control it with this. So I can use this terminal program to send the messages. So I'm listening to BBC right now, by the way. Maybe I should put it on music or something. Let's see. Now we got some kind of music instead of BBC. You can listen. You see some messages. I just changed the since I changed the station. These longer messages are showing up. Um, but anyway, so down here, you know, you can't see that at all. But trust me, I'm hitting the plus button in the terminal window, and that should make the volume go up. change that music okay plus we'll make it go up minus makes the volume go down so here I'm using the laptop to control the volume um, I've also got it set if I hit the M it will switch the input mode so it'll try to switch to CD but I don't have one in there it says no CD I can switch to my auxiliary input if I hit it twice. So yeah, it switch to aux. That's what I'll use for the tablet. I'll hook the tablet sound and the auxiliary input. Um, I could do CD changer and just emulate a CD changer, but I've got a device that I'm going to leave hooked up as the CD changer, I think. And then, of course, my favorite right there. Hey, how did that come across? I didn't hit the button yet. But, yeah, my favorite uh, feature here is that I've got a, if I hit a capital B, oh, if I hit a capital B, it's overwriting it. I get Brad Rocks on the screen. Basically, I can just send whatever text I want to. To the screen. Um, I'm looking at using that to capture to capture messages coming back, maybe to know what state I'm in, whether I'm in aux or radio, or to display the radio station on the tablet or whatever. Um, anyway, cool stuff. I'm just getting started, uh, and I've got a long way to go, but uh, I'm uh, very optimistic about this project now. It's turned out very well.